of all the projects that you worked on between the intervention and this, which would you say had the biggest influence on your skills as a director? Working with uh, a director like Rodrigo Garcia, who I've had the privilege of working with several times, or even my experience on Argo, you know, seeing the way certain directors handle the, themselves on set and then the effect that has on not only the cast, but also the crew and what the environment feels like. Um, you know, that really was an inspiration for me just in terms of like the kind of set I wanted to have and how I wanted my actors to feel um, where, you know, everyone felt safe and protected um, and able to do their best work and knowing that like, no matter what I had their back and that I was there for them for whatever they needed. We don't talk about how important that is nearly enough. <laughs> Very first feature screenplay is a very, very big deal. I know you're a creative individual in general, but what was it about writing a feature screenplay that might have surprised you? Well, I was very lucky and, and I feel so grateful that uh, Clea asked me to write this idea with her um, because I learned so much from writing with Clea, but then also watching the care and the 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 focus that she brings to the stories that she tells it, it I, one of the biggest lessons I took was like how crucial it is and how important it is to to have every scene feel like it has a purpose within the story that was a, a big lesson that I learned in in watching Clea like shape this story as we were writing it um the yeah the amount of attention to detail and the crafting of it was was so inspiring to, to see. Even having worked on the screenplay, is there anything that you didn't even realize about Jane until you hit the set? <laughs> so many things. Jane really, uh, I yeah, she really just came to life in me in a way that was um, was so fun. I, I, in writing Jane, we knew that we wanted her to be this this joyful character and this this person who just really. Uh, has such a deep level of self-acceptance. Um, but there, being on set, I was so, as Jane, just so excited that everyone was in the room <laughs> like to be around everybody. And that led to this sort of bouncy energy physically that was cool to discover on the set in those dynamics. Your moments were some of my favorites. I am obsessed with Thank this you. entire yeah. ensemble. So which two members would you say had the most polar opposite prep processes that challenged you to adapt to two completely different things? I think the biggest thing was just working with kids, you know, having those two kids and they were so, they did such a great job and came to, I was always terrified that they wouldn't know their lines and they always did. And they always like knocked it out of the park. And, you know, I think working, you know, balancing that and working with them, like that's such a different style working with kids than it is working with, um, grown up. So that was, I think that was the biggest difference was really like when they were around having to adapt to the different styles for them. And also just, we had to go so fast when they were there, but like wanting to still keep not having the kids feel the stress of everybody being like, they need to be done. Yeah. <laughs> and have them be clear on what needed to happen. Like yeah. being able to explain it to a child is, is such a specific skill. Yeah. So job well done in that department and every other one. I love the movie. Congratulations to you both. Thank you so much. Thanks. Thank you guys.